Bill Thurston studied at New College, Sarasota, Florida. He received his B.S. from there in 1967 and moved to the University of California at Berkeley to undertake research under Morris Hirsch's and Stephen Smale's supervision. He was awarded his doctorate in 1972 for a thesis entitled Foliations of Three Manifolds, which are circle bundles. This work showed the existence of compact leaves in foliations of three-dimensional manifolds. After completing his Ph.D., Thurston spent the academic year 1972-73 at the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton. Then, in 1973, he was appointed an assistant professor of mathematics at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. In 1974, he was appointed professor of mathematics at Princeton University. Throughout this period, Thurston worked on foliations. Lawson, 5, sums up this work. It is evident that Thurston's contributions to the field of foliations are of considerable depth. However, what sets them apart is their marvelous originality. This is also true of his subsequent work on Takemuller space and the theory of three manifolds in Eta, while describes Thurston's contributions which led to him being awarded a Fields Medal in 1982. In fact, the 1982 Fields Medals were announced at a meeting of the General Assembly of the International Mathematical Union in Warsaw in early August 1982. They were not presented until the International Congress in Warsaw, which could not be held in 1982 as scheduled and was delayed until the following year. Lectures on the work of Thurston, which led to his receiving the medal, were made at the 1983 International Congress. Wall, giving that address, said, Thurston has fantastic geometric insight and vision. His ideas have completely revolutionized the study of topology in two and three dimensions and brought about a new and fruitful interplay between analysis, topology, and geometry. Wall 8 goes on to describe Thurston's work in more detail. The central new idea is that a very large class of closed three manifolds should carry a hyperbolic structure, be the quotient of hyperbolic space by a discrete group of isometries, or, equivalently, carry a metric of constant negative curvature. Although this is a natural analog of the situation for two manifolds, where such a result is given by Riemann's uniformization theorem, it is much less plausible, even counterintuitive, in the three-dimensional situation.